Welcome to this Marimo online training. In this session, we will discuss seatbelt modeling and how to model seatbelts in Marimo. First, look at a classic three point seatbelt system. Several components can be distinguished. We see the seatbelt webbing, the anchor, the T ring the buckle, including the locking mechanism, and the retractor, including retentioner and load limiter systems. In Marimo, a seatbelt model uh, can be modeled basically in two different manners. We have a conventional way of multi-body seatbelt modeling, and you can model the system as a hybrid multi-body finite element seatbelt model. The difference between the two is mainly in the fact that the seatbelt segments that are in, in interaction, in contact with the occupant can be modeled either with multi-body, where you connect them with point objects to the occupant, or with FE, where you define the interactions between the occupant and the seatbelt system using contact definitions. The seatbelt system itself, the webbing, is modeled uh, with a chain of belt segments. Uh, the segments are connected by belt tyings and segments can slip over the belt tyings. This means that the untangent belt segments can change as uh, belt webbing is transferred from one segment to another over the belt tying. In the belt tyings, uh, belt slip uh, is uh, defined and friction can be defined to resist belt slip. Next, we look at the key elements that are used for Marimo seat belt modeling. First of all, there is the Marimo element belt. This is basically the container element for all other belt elements in Marimo. For the belt webbing, we use belt segment or FE model in case of an FE belt segment. Belt ends, or buckle or D-ring, are modeled with belt tying. Retractors are modeled with belt retractor, retentioner with belt pretensioner, and load limiter with belt load limiter. The triggering conditions for a belt system can be defined with sensor elements and switch elements. And finally, the output of a belt system, like belt forces or belt pullout or pull-in, can be defined with output.belt. First, we look at the, the key uh, element belt. As said, this is basically the root element or the container element for the MB belt model. In this element, you see that there are several child elements, uh, uh, related elements basically, uh, that can be used, which are belt segment, belt retractor, belt tying belt load limiter and pretensioner. In a uh, belt, you can define whether you want to have a mass specific, uh, a mass based belt or a massless belt. You do that with uh, the key, the attribute mass specific. And it is uh, generally recommended to use mass specific belts so that you can have dynamic belt slip. Uh, also in this element, you define a point object as a reference and this point object uh, specifies the location of the belt pretensioner or load limiter or retractor and it also specifies the direction of positive belt slip. When we look at the Marimo input deck we can see how a belt model can be uh, modeled. First we see that it's a uh, common practice to, to define your belt system in a system model. That means all your belt elements are within that system model. Inside the system model, we find the belt elements. In this case, we see three belt elements because we have finite elements, belt segments included, which basically interrupt the multi-body chain. So we see first a belt uh, element with segments from retractor to D-ring and from D-ring to FE shoulder belt. A second belt 
defining the part from the FE shoulder belt via the buckle to the FE lap belt and a third belt element defining the segment from the lap belt to the anchor point at the silk end. Inside the belt elements we see the belt segments uh, which are uh, interrupted by the belt tyings. The finite element belt segments are defined each with a separate FE model. So we have two FE models, one for the shoulder belt segment and one for the lap belt segment. <coughs> 